Sometimes I sit down to write a tweet and my idea just doesn't fit. I wish there were a way to take my ideas beyond 140. I've got it. Hello, Minnetonka. We're ready for this month's senior showcase. This month's senior is kind, respectful, lives up to our core values. Let's go meet this month's senior showcase. Ahoy! Good morning, everyone. Well, how's everybody doing? Good. Good. What is what was two months from yesterday? Oh, graduation. Graduation. So I'm here, other than entertainment purposes, for our senior showcase. And simply kind has always been the theme of senior showcase. Uh, this month's senior showcase, uh, who is a great reflection of the class of 2022, is William Richmond. <laughs> Congratulations, William, on being this month's senior showcase. So tell me a little bit about your family. I have my oldest sister, Caroline, then my older sister, Catherine, and then my brother, Hayes, and then both my mom and my dad, and then we have a dog at both of my houses, too. What's been a highlight moment of your senior year? The homecoming game against STMA, that was a really fun win for us, and especially when it started raining, we got a lot more energy and was able to beat them for homecoming. How do you hope that your leadership was defined during that time as a captain? This fall, how did you work to set a tone within the team? I know I'm not one of the most vocal leaders, but I would say I always try to lead by example and try to show others what to do. What is your definition of kindness? What does that look like to you? Showing that you care for everyone, just knowing that everyone comes from different backgrounds and just treating everyone the same and treating everyone how you want to be treated also. What are your future plans? I am going to Iowa State and I'm going to go into kinesiology, hoping to go into pre-physical therapy. Have you worked with multiple physical therapists? And I have. I've had physical therapists for my knee and also when I got concussion and when I got hip surgery too. What motivated you to persevere through all that intense physical therapy? I just had my eye on getting back for football because I know the timeline was around six months to recover, which meant I would miss a couple games. So I just did physical therapy three times a day, right when I woke up, after school, and before I went to bed, so I could get back in time, which I ended up did. I got back in four and a half months. How do you think that's gonna prepare you for life beyond uh, MHS? I think going through those difficult battles now, it'll help me be able to know that there's a good part at the end of the journey, and I'll be able to persevere through these tough times in the future. He's kind of more of a quiet leader, but he leads by example, and I think a lot of people can really look up to that. What impresses me about William is his ability to take challenges and see opportunity. What do you think our viewing audience might not know about you? Um, Somebody had told me that you have a record for squatting. You know, what is that? <laughs> Uh, I've squatted 405. But That's an impressive number. Uh, I can't go beyond 140. What's the last thing you binge watched on Netflix? The new Kanye West documentary. If you could have any song when, that when you walked in the room was played uh, as your intro music, what would that be? I would probably say something by Kanye or Sam Smith. Uh, what other advice would you give to, like if you think about a ninth grader coming into the school, what advice might you give that person? Definitely, I know everybody says it, but like get involved because there are so many options here and like get involved. You can meet so many new people that you can make new friends and it's just really fun to get involved.